All right, so I just wanted to cover a recent update that I have added to my racing game project. Um, so I decided to actually give it a name now. Uh, in the last video, I didn't actually have a name for it, and I decided to call it Backfire. All right, whatever. Um, anyways, in the last uh, update I covered, I um, covered most of the cars in there, but I've added a few since then, and I want to cover those and some other features. All right, so... Since the last update, I added a Fox Body Mustang, um, a Soar, actually I don't know if I had the Soar in the last video or not, uh, SC300 really, um, and then a uh, Cybertruck, alright, so I guess we'll start out by driving that, uh, and I guess just to show what I've added in the game. So one thing that I've added into the game is you, when you drive, you actually earn money, alright. So, in the last update, all I had is that when you sat idle in the game, you would earn money, um, which obviously isn't very good for a driving game, since you could just AFK and earn a ton of money and progress really fast. So, now you actually have to drive, uh, and that's actually worked out pretty well. Um, of course, the nicer the car, the more money you earn. Um, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, let's cover a few locations that I've added since then. Alright, so one thing I wanted to cover is this little dirt trail I have back here. Uh, you can drive pretty quickly on it. Uh, a lot of fun to whip around cars on. Um, right now, I'm driving the Cybertruck on it, and it works pretty well. Um, I think that we should actually cover some cars now. Uh, some little more exciting stuff, I guess. Well, I suppose since I'm already driving the Cybertruck, I might as well cover this one first. Alright, so... Honestly, uh, it drives well. It, in my opinion, uh, I think it swings around a little bit too much, uh, the rear especially. Um, but it, honestly, it could be a lot worse. And I'm pretty proud of the Blender build. Um, building the car in Blender, it was probably one of the fastest things I've ever done for Blender in terms of making a car. Um, like it was, I made it in about one day. Usually, it takes two to three ish, I guess. To build a to build a car, but with the Cybertruck, it took basically a couple of hours, and then I was done. So that's good. But uh, now let's cover the Fox Body Mustang. So the Fox Body Mustang is the third car that you unlock in the game. Um, and for only being the third car, it's quite quick. Uh, especially about. 0 to 20 miles an hour. Actually getting up to 60 though takes a while. Uh, I would play with the gear ratios more, but um, I use the basically the actual gear ratios of the, the car. Um, I, I don't know, I might change them later, but right now it drives pretty fine, I guess. Um, it drives better if you use the semi-automatic mode, um, and it's a little more exciting, but honestly it's not a bad car. Um, and for only being the third car that you unlock, once again, it's not bad. And quite fun. Alright, I guess now we should, uh, cover the next car, uh, the SC300. Alright, so we have the Soar right here. Um, and, uh, it's the, almost right now, right now it's the second to last car you unlock. Though, that will change in the future, as I will be adding way more cars. Um, so, right off the line, it doesn't have too much torque, but it does get to up to speed rather quickly, and is fun to drive. Um, there's not a whole lot to say about this. Uh, it's probably not my best blender build, but it is alright. Um, yeah. Alright. Well, I guess that about wraps up the video. Um, if you're interested in my current project of the driving game... Uh, backfire, then comment down below, and s I may release it soon, uh, in alpha, I guess, as there's not a whole lot done right now, other than driving for money, uh, the few cars, and a map, or almost a map. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching, and goodbye.